What will you do if your principles come into conflict with the voice of citizens in your district? For instance, you favor a reform that would say privatize Social Security, and you think this would solve the long-term problems of funding that program. But suddenly, all of the correspondence and phone calls you're getting from your district are against this. How would you handle that? Ken? Thank you. Uh, I've actually had some experience with that because I do have core principles, which include a lot of the things that you heard earlier identified by the Tea Party. Uh, I believe very much in personal property rights. I certainly believe in individual responsibilities. I believe in smaller government, and I believe in we've got to reduce the spending that's going on. Now, in my county right now, we're going through a very difficult time because we're going to have to cut our budget. We're going to have to cut some spending thing. That's a core principle of mine. A lot of my constituents are very concerned of what we're going to do to the education system because of that. And here's a perfect example of this that I've had experience in dealing with. Certainly, if I go to Washington, I'm going to represent the people of the 5th District. But there, are, there will be differences of opinion on both sides of every issue. We see people that actually support the health care system and think that's right. They're telling Tom Perriello that's what he ought to do. That's something would not, though I would not go with those people who wanted that done because I would go with the core principles. I think it's important when you all decide on who you're going to send to Washington that you understand what these people's core principles are because that's what they're going to follow. And again, I can tell you, my, I have a demonstrated uh, record that you can look at where I've reduced spending in, in government, I've reduced the size of government, and that's been a great peril too because I've gone through very tough races where the people who have tried to use that against me tried to say because we cut spending, not for teachers, but for administrative costs, that that was a bad thing because I voted against an education budget. So they'll try and demonize you for doing that, but I always stuck to my principles, and I've always done that in my, in my career as a, as a legislator. Never, never, never go against your core principles. The, uh, <clears throat> the I am a supporter of privatizing Social Security, and that's a good example that you used, Len. The, uh, the people that, that support me in my campaign right now should have a very clear understanding of the issues that I do support and where I stand on all the issues. We have it on the website, we have it in the cards we hand out. There should never be a surprise from me as your congressman as to what I'm gonna support. Privatizing Social Security is going to be a difficult choice for anybody who's supporting it and trying to pass it through in Congress. But people have to understand if we're going to get this government and this budget under control, there's going to be hard choices there's always going to be people who disagree with you. You have to go with your core principles, and in two years, you can vote that person out. Tom Perriello is a great example. He went with his core principles, bigger government, more socialism, less liberty. And we're going to vote him out another uh, eight months from now. So that's, that's, the, that's what would happen if I, if I came against my own core principles. I would go with my core principles. Thank you. On, on fiscal matters, I'm afraid to raise it up. I'm going to. On fiscal matters. Um, $1.2 billion a day in interest this country is paying. $14 trillion we're approaching in debt. Does anyone here think that's sustainable? There are absolutely hard choices that are gonna to have to be made. When I get in, no stone will be unturned. The window of opportunity to get these things done will be short. These decisions will have to be made, and so when it comes to fiscal responsibility, I will stay with my course that you will know prior to me being elected. On social issues, I will look to the will of the 5th District, and also know this, I am principled, I am going to do what it takes to balance the budget and start getting that deficit reduced, and know this, I cannot do this alone. I will need the 5th District to go and come to my office and get this thing done. We have to do it in total. You cannot just again and again send a representative, wave goodbye and hope in two years everything's okay. What I'd love to see is 10,000 people a day when it's in session, pounding on the door of the House of Representatives demanding that we get this done. And in two years, if I don't have it done, you fire me. Thank you.